What is going on guys? I finally figured it out. I don't know if any of you have been having this problem, but I feel like one of the most searched things on YouTube when it comes to Google Sheets and the stock market is how to import your dividend data. You have a stock, you want to know your dividend yield, dividend payout, dividend ratio, and most importantly, when payday is. And so many people have no clue how to get your X dividend date. This stuff also isn't the easiest, but you could pretty much figure it out. But here we go. Watch this. Let's. Th there's Apple right there. Let's type in Target. As you see, everything changes. Look at this. Everything's loading, especially the X dividend date. This is one of the hardest ones. It took me a, way to, a while to figure this out, but I finally figured it out. I'm going to break it all down, how I made this, so you can implement it into your portfolio trackers. But before that, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel. I work hard to make awesome things like this for you guys. All I ask for in return is a like and a subscribe. Let's dive right in. So again, this could be for anything. If you have some kind of portfolio tracker and you just want to know how to pull this information, well, it is very simple. We're going to make this right below right here. So we got our stock ticker and then I'm just going to copy and paste these. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to do control shift V. There we go. So the first thing is dividend yield. How do we get dividend yield? Well, I am pulling it from Finviz stock screener. Well, I guess Finviz, not the stock screener, just Finviz in general. So we have target open. Let's go up here to TGT for target. We're pulling it from this chart right here. If you have watched my videos before, you already know how to pull from this chart, but let's just go over it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to hit equals and we're going to hit index. Okay. So that's what we're going to be using for start. Then we're going to hit open parentheses, import HTML. There's yes, import HTML. There's XTML, HTML. HTML is pulling from a chart and that's what we want. Then what we want to do is take the actual web browser. So we're going to open quotations. We're going to go here and we're going to copy finviz.com, all of this, all the way before the target from the H to the equals. Hit control C, then plug that into here, control V. And at that point, what you want to do is close that quotation. Now the next thing we need to do is hit the ampersand. So control seven. And what we want is we want right here, A2. So you can click on A2, it plugs it in, make sure that text is orange, hit that comma. And we are pulling, like I said, from a table. So we want to do in quotations table. So it's green, hit that comma as well. And now what we want is our dividend yield. So where are we pulling that from? Well, we're actually pulling that from table nine on the website. That's that big table on the bottom. If we go back here, where is our dividend yield? Well, it's right over here. Dividend yield 1.67%. So that's what we're going to want. So what is that? If we, we could actually count, it is one. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight down and then it's two over. So we want eight and two. So we go back here, we do eight comma two, and then we close our quotations. I mean, our parentheses hit enter. We get an error. Let's see what I messed up on. So we just look at this really quick. I forgot a comma right here. Hit enter. That should work. It's loading. There we go. 1.67%. Now you might be thinking, what's up with the asterisk? Why do I have that? That could also be annoying if you want to try to add that. So say you had the 1.67% and you had whatever, five uh, five shares. You, you can't multiply that. You can't take this. You can't hit multiply and that you're going to get a value error because this isn't a number. So how do we fix that? Well, it's actually really simple. And again, if you've watched my videos, you already know this. I put in just about everything. 
what we want is substitute. So in front of this, we're going to type in substitute. We then want to open the uh, quotation again and then all the way at the end, what we want to do is comma, um, open quotations, star, close quotations, comma, quotation, quotation. So what they're saying, substitute star for nothing, close. And then we want to close that parenthesis again because we have our parenthesis at the very beginning, right? And what we want to do now is multiply it by one just so we are sure it turns it into an actual value. And there we go. With this, we now can hit the um, parentheses and we're good. That is the first step that's complete. You can copy this formula. It's in the description um, because now for the next two, we just get to do some copy and paste. So it's going to go along a lot quicker. But the ex-dividend date, we're going to have to pull it from a different thing. We're going to have to learn a new code. So make sure to watch it to the very end. So we're going to paste that in there. And we're going to paste this in there because we already have both. Annual payout. So annual payout is easy because it's right above the dividend payout, uh, the dividend yield. So our annual payout is 2.72. So where are we getting that from? Well, instead of eight, it's going to be seven. Hit enter. There we go. You want to make that a dollar sign? Go for it. Let's center that. And now our payout ratio. Where's that? It is right over here. Payout 37.7. And that's going to be 11 down and eight over. So now we know we got to plug in 11 and eight. Okay, so now we have all that. We'll make that a percentage. We'll center it. And now the last thing is our X dividend date. This is the hardest one, or at least it was the hardest one for me. And if you look around the internet, no one knows how to do it on YouTube. Um, I figured it out. Maybe you do know how to do it. Maybe you've seen someone do it before, but I sure as hell had to dig around. So we're going to be pulling from Yahoo Finance. And now you may have seen plenty of videos. If we zoom out here to 100, you may have seen plenty of videos where they're doing the whole equals import HTML, import HTML, open uh, parentheses. They're going to Yahoo. And what they are doing is, here, let's just type in, say Apple. They're copying all of this, putting that in. So you're only pulling Apple and you're getting like the table view and it can't be dynamic because it's not like there's a cell here. So it's not actually hooked up to any cell. I'm not going to get into all of it, but like it, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't make it into a nice portfolio tracker where everything can be dynamic and connected to each other. Well, here is the actual answer. What we're going to be doing is we're going to hit equals. The first step is co uh, index. And then what we want to do is open our quotations. We want to do import html so import html open again now here's the secret it's called concatenate so that is c o n c a t e n a t e open parentheses again. This is where we're going to put in our Yahoo Finance, our HTTPS Yahoo Finance, all the way up to quote. All right, and make sure to get the uh, forward slash as well. So we're going to put that into our code. And then we want to close our quotation, hit comma, pick the cell we want, which is A2. Then we want to close our 
parentheses, hit comma. Again, we're pulling from a table. So we're going to do table, close our quotation, make sure table is green. And on Yahoo Finance, we want to pull right here. Here's the X dividend date. So there's actually two tables here. So we want to pull from the second table. And this is going to be two over. So one, two, and then seven down. So what we want is, like I said, table two, close our quotations, I mean our parentheses. We want to make sure we have the comma, do seven, comma, two, close our parentheses. And if we hit enter, we get a number. So you know it works, but clearly this is not a dividend date. This is not an actual date. So all you have to do, you didn't screw up. You just need to go here and you need to go down to date. Change that cell to a date and there you go. Let's center that and just to make sure everything works, just to test everything, if we're changing this, all of these are connected to up here. I forgot to put it in down here, so we're just gonna delete that. Uh, this is just to check everything. Target, let's type in Apple, see if everything changes. Everything's loading. There you go, look at that, everything changes. We get our X dividend dates. What's another uh, stock, how about Microsoft? That is a dividend paying stock. There it is, everything is in line with what we want it to be. One more, there's Verizon, loading. And there we go, everything is in line. That is your X dividend date. All of these codes are down below. You got payout, annual payout and your dividend yield are all from Finvez. This one's from Yahoo Finance. If you like this video, guys, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all the other awesome videos on my channel. You guys rock, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.